Joe Biden cancels Alaska oil and gas leases. It's Joe Biden against American energy once again. This president seems to want nothing more than to deplete our supply and make us reliant on other countries. Join me now is former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, good friend of the show. You know what? We heard the story this morning, my mind blow, blown. Um, gas prices, governor, are on their way up. They're going a lot higher. North Sea Brent is now $90 a barrel. And now he's canceling uh, Alaska North Slope production. We've been through this, you and I, a couple of times, once with Obama, now with Biden. What are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I just filled up my truck and it was 120 bucks. Yes, the price is increasing. Common sense says, of course, we need to produce more energy. The leases that Biden canceled, unfortunately, well, they were already let years ago. So the volatility that this creates in the market, not just that, but the fact that Biden is He's um, rushing us into the arms of enemies who weaponize energy because now we have to ask them for even more production to energize our nation. It makes absolutely no sense when we are the ones that have the reserves. We have the environmental safety factors plugged in, worker safety. No, nobody does it better than Americans. And, and, and we produce, yeah. Governor. We produce. We produce. And we produce here domestically. And we don't have to ship it and transport. I noticed OPEC this week decided they are going to keep their production cuts in place for the end of the year and maybe longer, meaning higher prices. OPEC cuts production, prices go up. It didn't matter under Trump. We were fully self-sufficient under Trump. We were a net exporter under Trump. In a two and a half years, Biden's turned us dependent on Arab sheiks. It's insanity, Governor. It is insanity, and it's purposeful, though, too, Eric. You know, when we talk specifically about Anwar, the leases that Biden just, uh, that, that he just um, expelled, and, and they're not going to be able to uh, fulfill any kind of production exploration. You talk about Anwar, you want to know the size of the exploration little sliver that we need to explore? Picture a football field. Put a little postage stamp in the middle of that football field. That is the size of the exploration pad that's needed because of directional drilling and, um, you know, all this new technology that is uh, allowing just a great progress in uh, petroleum development. Uh, it makes absolutely no sense, and it's not about the environment either. Uh, what the left is doing, they use ANWR, they use um, other issues when it comes to oil and gas development as just fundraisers and as control of the people. Their solutions, Eric, to the energy crisis that we are in, and it's going to get worse under Biden, their solutions are one, to ration energy and wait till that happens. And that changes all of our lifestyles, the way we live, the way we make a living, because petroleum touches every single aspect of our lives. Not only that, believe it or not, part of their uh, solution is censorship, mm. because the Biden administration has asked big tech not to allow those of us who speak truth and facts and science about oil and gas development. They don't want us to talk about it. And they've asked big tech. They call it lies that we are talking. Uh, and they've asked big tech, don't allow us to quote unquote lie about the science behind oil and gas development. Yeah, the, the, here's, here's the reality, Governor. You know, I've done this a long time. The, the Democrats have done, this is their plan. They drive oil, they, they cut production, they drive oil prices up, and they say, see how expensive it is. We need more green energy. And they go, here's all this money to green energy. And meanwhile, the oil producing states, producers, uh, Exxon Mo, they go, wait a minute, we can produce a heck of a lot more oil. Just let us to bring prices down. Uh, Republicans open up the spigots and prices go down. This is all about driving their green energy agenda. Governor, I got about a minute or so. Very importantly, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is now at about 360 million barrels. It, it fits 750 million barrels. Biden drained that thing to, to less than half. That's a very dangerous place for us to be, is it not? Absolutely, it's dangerous. Again, that just pushes us further into the arms of the enemies who are using 
energy against us. Keep in mind Europe too, they're going to be worse off than we are because they are so reliant on uh, Russia to produce. Well, uh, Putin is cutting back production because of the Ukrainian war. He's kind of punishing Europe. Well, we are obligated in a sense to help Europe with energy supplies. They're going to be asking us for energy supplies, thus diminishing the supply on our end. It's this trickle down effect. Everything's getting worse and worse and worse when it comes to energy. And yet, at least for me, it's the simplest problem to solve in the United States of America. The, the, what the government is doing, it is purposeful, and uh, America has the technology, the workforce. We have the ethics. Uh, we have the ability to produce. Governor Palin, really good having you on. Right topic, right person. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.